Kauai TV 4 News at 10, Hawaii's most complete late newscast. A devastating week for farmers on Kau on the Big Island. Some 5,200 acres torched, fanning out on both sides of Highway 11 around Pahala. Now where pastures, nut, mac nut trees, and coffee fields once stood, a burned out dust bowl and an exhausted community salvaging what they can. Good evening, I'm Laura Yamada. Kenny Choi has the night off. Well, it's still unclear what started those fires last week Monday, but it burned so hot, so fast, within hours, hundreds of acres of ag land blackened. We traveled to the Big Island and met one farmer dealing with the devastation yet again. It's, it's sad to, to look at this. Super. You know, what do you do? Um, nothing we could have done to prevent it. Just over a week after fire yeah, tore through Randy Cabral's macadamia farm, he's surveying the damage. The fire went through here pretty hot. And here in the worst hit area. There's no sap at all coming out of these trees. So usually if you cut the bark and it's good, good tissue, you'll end up with some oozing and sap, but nothing. The fire that burned 5,200 acres around Pahala and still ripe with hot spots burned nearly 200 acres of his macnut trees. I was hoping that maybe the trunk uh, is still good and maybe it will survive, but it doesn't look like it would. Cabral says he's dedicated to his crops, but he's had a rough go of it. This hit, not even the worst of it. The flooding that devastated Hilo in November of 2000 hit here too. Now a river of rocks and boulders. But his focus today on this. You can imagine the flames moving with this kind of wind. And this, his home a few miles away. It's just covered with dust. And this. It, it just melted with the fire. So this is the main irrigation system that stretches all the way down into the orchards there. They had to chop it off here to stop the damage. That fire is so intense, it literally burned this pipe into oblivion. And you can see the flames just leaping along the way, 30, 40 feet, 50 feet, was just jumping. Despite a major setback, Randy says he's lucky. Two months from now, those macna trees would have been at peak production. And his $400,000 irrigation project just underway would have been complete. Somehow, a look at the bright side on this hot and dusty day. You ever say to yourself, that's it? That's yeah, it. sometimes. I think about that sometimes. But then again, the next day you get up and do it all over again. Well, cattle ranchers are having problems too. Some reporting the heavy ash and dust clouds are making their herds sick. Residents say that massive brush fire lit up in what appeared to be three different spots. But no word from investigators yet on what may have started it.